Good morning. It is December the 16th, and this is your daily Advent devotional. We're going to read from Psalm 80 today, continuing on from yesterday. Today we're going to read Psalm 80, verses 17 through 19. But let your hand be upon the one at your right hand, the one whom you made strong for yourself. Then we will never turn back from you. Give us life, and we will call on your name. Restore us, O Lord God of hosts. Let your face shine, that we might be saved. Our reading from Psalms today is so indicative of the cyclical nature of the relationship between God and humans that we see in the Old Testament, and honestly, we see in our daily lives as well. As you read through the narrative, the history of the, New, of the Old Testament, you see that the people were very close to God, very much following in God's direction, and then for one reason or another, they fall away. And then they're set upon by whatever evil it is that comes to them. Sometimes it's trouble from within. Sometimes it's neighboring countries that come in and wipe them out. There's this very cyclical nature. And this psalm, or the end of this psalm, speaks in that way that feels a little too familiar to us. Oh God, if you will only look upon me with favor now, just do the thing I'm hoping for, or save me, or whatever it is. If you do that, oh, I will always follow you. I, I can't help but laugh when I read that. Then we will never turn back from you. Give us life and we will call on your name. Restore us, O oh Lord God of hosts. Let your face shine that we may be saved. We do that too, don't we? We send up those little emergency prayers when it seems like things are not going our way. When we're in over our head or it seems like evil is upon us from all sides, that's when we return to God. And I say this jokingly, but it's very real. I find reassurance when I read that 3,500 years ago, people behaved very much the same way. It helps me step away from I don't know, sometimes there's guilt that religion carries with it. Not faith, but religion. The rules of religion that say you've got to do this, you've got to behave this way. Whether they be Old Testament rules or rules of modern religion, they can come with guilt. But I can find my way to a healthy space, a healthier relationship with God by saying, yep, I have once again fallen away. I've once again not done the things that would be best for me. I haven't behaved in ways that are the best version of me. And yet, God still forgives. And yet, no matter what, God loves me. I hope you can find some hope in that as well. God loves you, no matter what. Like, really, no matter what. There's nothing that you can say or do that would ever make God stop loving you. There are certain lots of things that we do, that you do, that are pushing God away, that are you walking away from God and from what the beautiful life that God wants from you. But never will God turn away from you. Let us pray. Loving God, there is such beautiful hope and grace and mercy in our Bible today. The hope that says, even as humans in the past stepped away from you, whenever they turned back, you were there. Heck, even when they turned away, you were there too. The hope that reminds us that we are invited to always step closer to you that you will always be there with your arms open wide, saying, my child, I forgive you. Come home. God, as we step a little bit closer to Christmas Day, we want to step closer to you. We want to know that your arms are open wide. And we're reminded that you loved us so much that you sent your son in a tiny baby to 
be our friend, to be our guide, to be our redemption. Thank you. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me again this morning. If you want to see some previous daily devotions, you can click over there. Or if you'd like to subscribe, there's a link up there. I will see you tomorrow morning. I love you all. Bye for now.